My name is Simone Vigod. I'm a staff psychiatrist in the Department of Psychiatry at Women's College Hospital. Over the last number of years, there has been a considerable rise in the use of antipsychotic medications during pregnancy. Antipsychotic medications during pregnancy are used by women with schizophrenia or other psychotic disorders, but they are also used by women with bipolar disorder, women with depression, and women with other conditions. The newer antipsychotic medications, which have only been on the market since the early 1990s, have not been extensively studied in pregnancy in terms of their potential impact on the women during pregnancy or the potential impact on the developing child. The question we set out to answer with this study was whether taking antipsychotic medications during pregnancy increases risk for developing certain maternal conditions in pregnancy or increases risk for certain infant or fetal concerns compared to not taking antipsychotic medications in pregnancy. What we did in this study was we tried to compare women who use antipsychotic medications in pregnancy to women who are very, very similar to them and may have had risk factors for uh, medical conditions or risk factors for infant problems that would have been very, very similar, but where the main difference between the two groups of women was that one group of women used antipsychotic medications in pregnancy and the other group of women did not. And so when we compared women who used antipsychotic medications to very, very similar women from a mental health perspective, from a medical perspective, but who didn't use antipsychotic medications, what we found was that the two groups were really not different with respect to development of diabetes in pregnancy, with respect to development of issues related to high blood pressure in pregnancy, with respect to the development of blood clots during pregnancy. We also found that the main child outcomes that we were looking at were not very different. The big picture significance of this study is that in an era where more and more women are using antipsychotic medications during pregnancy, we as healthcare practitioners, as researchers, have an obligation to be able to provide women, their families, their providers with the best information possible about medication use during pregnancy in terms of its benefits and in terms of its risks so that women can make informed decisions about their care. I believe that this study contributes to that 